Hello. What's the trick here? Drop bottle, okay. No trick, just a lot of a lot of chests. Okay. Okay, game. I'm gonna avoid the middle one just in case for right now. Linworm ring, okay. It just reminds me of the comic someone had where the the villain's like, oh my god, the hero's going to be here soon, and they're so they've been leveling up and doing all this stuff. There's no way I can beat them. Wait, I have an idea. Shows the the main character coming up to a room, finds MO for a weapon he doesn't have. Oh shit! I must have missed something. Goes back and keeps looking for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Curse your meta knowledge. Die. That was a there fish. Are... That was like a weird fish wish thing. Which thing? Lava apes. No, okay. No strange for not wanting to fuck the fish man. Hey crack! Hey crack! Look at that kraken sliding along the ground. Move fast, baby, don't be slow. Oh. Wrong game. As much fun as it would be. <laughs> got it. The thorns are what slows us down. That's why when they get rid of them. Okay, got it. Yep, and, and they also reduce time when you hit them. Got it. That makes sense. Which is hilarious that it's like, clear these out. We already did it. Need to be. Oh, yep. Okay, where is the cat? Cat! Cat! Where is the cat? What are we doing, Dora the Explorer? I mean, that's the type of stuff I do in what, at elementary schools. Although, uh, the, 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 main, the main video that they show for that, for like, count, like, how many X is, uh, it's like, balls, balls, how many balls? One, two, three, four, five balls. Strokes, strokes. How many strokes? One, two, three, four, five strokes. Please tell me you're talking about golf? Uh, kanji, stro kanji writing, like the strokes in kanji. Mm. But everyone okay. catches on to the fact, every uh, native English feature catches on to the fact that that's really not two, those two words should not be connected to each other in the same song. Yeah, not in that manner. Oh, what? Input is temporarily disabled while host is busy. One second, my Norton decided to be a bitch. There we go. Ah, uh, you, you mean your virus? <laughs> yeah. Norton might as well just be a virus. It's true. Alright, let's see. Oh, something that you'll get a kick out of. I finally got one of those, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty uh, letters. God damn it, that's funny. Um, I have I one. actually got one! <laughs> that is really funny. Um, I have been getting a lot of uh, WhatsApp uh, notifications trying to get me into cryptocurrency, and I keep having to block them. It's annoying. Just hook up with the blockchain! Um, no. My money does not belong on a fucking blockchain where y'all can just take it. Like this is the last oh, gap. This is the super secure. This is the last gasp of NFTs, and I am and I welcome it. Now gasp your last breath and expire. Now, if only Warner Brothers had found a way to get rid of you instead of their actual catalog. Mm. Yeah, and they're paying for that one. Did you see uh, Scott's? tweets about that i've seen cosmonauts which are pretty close too about like warner brothers j recently lost like three billion in revenue and they only have yeah, enough the... money and they only have enough money to um, release two movies this year and i love um uh, i love cosmonauts he's like y'all just didn't if y'all had just not um if y'all just not canceled the gay the gay cartoons this would not have happened <laughs> no uh, specifically what uh what scott did is he just took a couple screenshots from uh Neon Genesis Evangelion, and all he did was caption the one, fucked around, and the second one, found out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Special miso hodgepodge. A, a local favorite from a distant land called Japan, made with a um, secret recipe that uses hacho miso. It's basically a, a nice little big hot, a big nabe hot pot. I love those. Yep. I love... 
I I need to make more I need to make more hot pot over here. It's really easy. You just uh, let's see. Where can we? Let's you find. You haven't found the cat. Is there not one in this one? I don't know. Um, let's just keep move. Maybe it's just close by to well, it. Well, there is a section that you haven't we, that we we haven't seen any treasure chests up there, and we've got four we're missing. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more once around. Because yeah, it might be because it is the final. This might be one of the final ones for this dungeon. They might not let you minimize it. The hell! I, I will find out a way. I will hack the game's files. I don't. I don't know how to do that. I'm not. Don't. Don't quote me on that game. I'm about to say good luck with that. Uh, no, though. Speaking of uh, speaking of hackers, I did laugh. Twitchy was uh, seeing that there's uh, the phone game that I play. There is someone who has hacked the system and gets like all the hard data for people. Where it's like, okay, when it describes this ability having this effect. Here's the actual numbers. Here's what it does. So when it says greatly increases defense, it's an increase of defense by 50%. If it says this, it does th this thing here. And what? actually explains it. What phone game are you playing? War of the Visions. It's basically... It is essentially someone was like, Hey guys, remember Tactics? Remember Final Fantasy Tactics? Does it have any, do does it have any gotcha elements or is it straight up a Tactics yes. game? Okay. It it's, got, it's got gotcha elements. You can technically uh, just do it as a free-to-play, and essentially what that means is, yeah, you're going to be taking a lot of time to build stuff up. Well, yeah, I, which, mean, I mean, as long as it's not on the level of, like, Diablo Immortal. No. Um, that's horrifying, by the way. And oh. the one thing I can say for uh, Gumi, the company that makes it, is that they do have a lot of stuff for, like, hey, you just started playing. Here's a whole bunch of stuff that you can start pushing towards. Um, and as long as you, like, participate in some of the daily stuff, you're not having to shell out money. I do know there are people, in fact, one of the content creators for it, um, Nerd Knight, his entire thing is, here's how you play the game free to play. Here is how you optimize this so you don't get into positions where you're just like, well, crap, I'm screwed. <laughs> Makes sense. I guess this is uh, the last one, so we're going to have to keep our eyes open. Yep. Uh. <clears throat> but, uh, because the, like I said, someone has hacked the system and gets all this information and shows, like, hey, yeah, when it says, uh, when it says large damage modifier on this attack, well, here's the percentage modifier, so you know. <laughs> but Twitchy was like, man, I wish that my phone game had a dedicated fan base that did shit like that. <laughs> What's her phone game? Uh, Food Fantasy. Fair enough. Which... I mean, personifications of all of the uh, cute anime personifications, or in some cases, hot anime personifications of food. So, fighting foodons, but for teenagers and adults. Kind of, yes. Fighting foodons. Dun 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 dun. Who wants some next? Uh, but yeah, the thing is that there's a whole bunch of stuff in that one that is very much just... It'll say something, but it doesn't doesn't really tell you what it means by that. <laughs> huh? And the other uh, advantage that Twitchy was actually very upset with me uh, with me is because War of the Visions is uh, separated from the JP server, and the uh -huh. JP server is like four months ahead. Uh -huh. So we have, unless they come up with something like new and strange to throw at us. We have a four-month heads-up on everything that's coming our way. Uh -huh. Twitchies does not, because they do not have a difference between an Asian server and the uh, global server. It's all one server. Mm -hmm, makes sense. Which also means that sometimes things don't get translated. The current event that Twitchy was actually very, very interested in did not get translated. Aw. So it's like, I, I actually want to know about this character and all this, and I can't. That was a considerably powerful Because I don't speak Chinese. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Alright. Oh god. Um Well, we'll just keep looking through. Look for non spikies. Yep. Uh, none in here that I can see. Uh oh yeah, I am actually very, very excited for the upcoming events in War of the Visions because they're 
doing uh, a collaboration for FF13. Nice. And we will get the characters Hope, Lightning, and Snow. Uh, Hope's given, being given away as a free unit. So as nice. long as you log in during the event, you get Hope. Oh, nice. Oh. Fuck. Minus 15 seconds. God damn it. Yep. Okay. Um, and then the other two are Lightning and Snow. Okay, I see it. We will need to be extremely wary. Oh. So yeah, Lightning is going to be your DPS unit, which my response to that is, can we get something besides DPS units for for Lightning unit for Lightning the element? I also chuckle that in the game, your characters have elements. So Lightning is Lightning element, and all of the content creators are like, yeah, that's gonna be real fun when she comes out, and we're just like, Lightning's really strong, as is the character. <laughs> Uh, but, like, the lightning it's element over, has right? Cloud, who is, again, another heavy Ooh, DPS. That was close. Yep. Uh, yeah. In in the Final Fantasy VII uh, collab they did, we got Cloud, Barret, uh, Tifa, and Aerith. And Cloud was lightning, which, again, makes sense. Spiky hair. But lightning has a lot of, like, high damage hyper carries. Oh, fuck you, game. Yeah, I couldn't even see that one. Yeah, because it spawned right as I got to that part. That was cheap, game, and you fucking know it. Yes, yes, they do. That's why they did it. No, no, you don't get to do giant big AoE. You just die. I didn't block it, I'm proud. Oof, I did not see that witch attacking. Riding on its swordfish broom. I kind of like the design. It's a good design. Another one down. God damn it. Oh. Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. They do it on purpose. Ah. Uh, uh. yeah, the fact that it's like for lightning, lightning just has so many really powerful characters in it right now. Um The one thing I was noticing about the game is the ice element. All mm -hmm. of ice's like high rarity tanks are limited units because huh. the units in question we're gonna get be getting snow we're going to be uh we're going to be getting the rerun of tactics so agrius is going to get her sorry agrius is going to get her big boost right there You're strong, uh, but I'm and strong. then uh the other one is Fryevia, who's a limited time unit with the final fantasy brave exvius phone game but that means all of their tanks, all of their UR tanks, are limited. So if you come into the game and want to play Ice, you're like, okay, well, if I want a tank, I'm gonna have to wait for one of these events. Hey, uh, uh hey, AI, it'd be really good if you'd, like, use some ultis right now. Never. You know they won't. We have... 58 seconds left to find whatever other ones are left. Yep. Help. Yeah, I don't think we're even getting out of this one before that, in time for that. <laughs> Fingers crossed this is the last one. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to. Nope. No, god damn it. 
Yeah, there's one in each of the four fucking corners. At the very least. Yeah. God damn it. I don't even know what happens now. Do we get, like, booted all the way back to the end, or... We just we'll restart. see in a second. Well, yeah. we'll see in five seconds. Well, I found the other one. Right there. It just resets. Play the Ambers. Alright, so... Well, at least we know where they all are. I'm gonna do some... I'm gonna try to do some preemptive. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, wow, when they're forming in like that, you don't even get a full, like, aha, here's this thing. You just see a little bit of a shadow on the ground. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's also assuming that these are always popping up in the same place. Uh, they have been so far. So far. Ah, uh, god damn it. Yeah, I, thought... I will try to find this then. All right. Because, yeah, we just timed out there. Good luck. Ooh. Show... Uh, this area. This is the Heavenly Steps. The Heavenly Steps, um, World's, Enig World's Enigma. There's a grand total of five. Oh, yeah. So, go back to the map. So... They are split up into the uh, top two bits that kind of look like butterfly wings. Okay, I, I know those ones. I know the one. Yeah. There's the one on this little bit to the left, right. Yep. The one down here. And then I thought it might be one down here, but I didn't see yep. anything. Yep, that's where the other one is. Oh, go figure. This map. Okay. It must have uh, just blended in really well with the thorns then. Um. I don't think we have a chance. Yeah, it says that supposedly we can choose the option, so there's a cat's here somewhere. Uh, does it say where the cat's is? I'm not seeing it on the map, but I'm also trying not to, uh, to look away. Because I need to make sure I'm actually swinging at something. Fair. Well, if we don't beat it this time, we'll look for the cat's. Because we almost had it last time. Well, we very obviously would have had it if we... Knew where the last one was. Yeah, because we had, like, three minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm surprised it took three minutes to go across the map. It's one of those things that you don't realize it as you're doing it, but yeah, time will pass a lot more weirdly. Nice try hitting me with those big AoEs. Cat's helper. Oh, I was trying to show see on the map. So, yeah, uh, the direction we're facing a little <laughs> bit left. It's right at that corner leading in to the uh, the exit. Oh, so over here? No, no, other side of it. But yeah, right here is where he's supposed to be. Which there he is. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> uh, delay. And then. Yeah, more time. Eliminate thorns and detect little malevolences. And yeah, there they are. And fuck it, let's reduce. They yeah, reduced it by one. one. God damn yep. it. Oh well. oh well, we got it this time. Honestly, I think just removing the thorns makes it uh, infinitely easier. But I wanted to be thorough. Hey! 
the one that stunned me, I'm going to be angry. Good, you didn't. Because I wanted to separate that one more. That is annoying that he was just in a bush. Yep. In a bush that we could not even have seen him in. The only way we did see him was because we were able to glitch through it. Partially. Mm -hmm. Game, come on. You're gonna fuck us over. Fuck us over fairly. No, it can't do that. It's like, no, no, no. For this one, <laughs> as we juggle him. No, oh, fuck him. I we, we can got go... a 90 hit combo on that son of a bitch. <laughs> we didn't get we didn't get over 99. We failed. Yeah. Oh. We will need to be extremely wary. <laughs> As he's in the air. And I slam him back down and then I hit him again. Ooh, me. Oh, it's got me fo focusing on this. Fine, I'll go fight the monkey. And the music she seems really far away right now. Yeah. I do not know why. I think it's because we're pulled further apart and it's something built in for that. That was a considerably powerful Or maybe not, because it just it didn't come back up when we did that. Huh, it is rather odd. All right, last final one. Time. For the final time. Are you trying to kill the, the next four minutes? <laughs> I don't think we have a chance. Uh, Floppy says, shut the fuck up. You are bad at threat assessment. I'll take that soul. Thank you very much. If you want to live, oh, thank God. You got something, I think a title. Uh, probably. Yeah, I just saw three stars of something. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Uh...
Oh, I wa I recently watched someone do a uh, Resident 4 randomizer. Oh god. And my favorite one is, you know that one part with, like, it's after you get out of that wind canyon after, like, you meet Lewis and get captured with him, and you get to that mansion where Mendez is? Mm-hmm. Um, they got to the mansion, and guess what were the opponents for that area? What? Two of Salazar's, bo guys? Two of Salazar's bodyguards. Oh. oh, God. Never mind, that's worse. There's also the funny one where he was playing... There was another guy playing as Ashley. He's like, alright, this Ranger Badge is not too bad. Playing as Ashley, Mendez walks in. Crap. Are we ready for Fafnir. 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 I don't want to... I don't want to eat his heart, though. I don't want to turn into another dragon. So, I find it hilarious that the way he's standing, the first thought going through my head is I'm just hearing going, pull. You think you're approaching... You dare approach me. Oh. Oh, we got a hundred hit combo, it looks like, I think. I got the achievement. I got the achievement Centurion. Man, I keep just hitting him in the dick. I can't believe it. Oh, I kept hitting you in the dick. Ah! And... Yes! Got it off! Wouldn't that suck if it... Wouldn't it suck if all of a sudden you just see this and it's just zero, 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 zero the whole time? I would be. Yes. Oh, 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 out. Soul burst. Bye, Fafnir. Yep. That was a considerably powerful enemy. I mean, theoretically. Yeah. Ventite of Guardian and Lance. Eleanor and Magilu to perform dual mystic art. We're very grateful for the information about Inominat, Seraph. I see my message has reached you then. So now you understand, correct? Inominat's suppression of your world is inevitable. To resist would be futile. Futile this, futile that. How can you be so sure? Are you controlling Inominat? Yes and no. Allow me to explain. Empyreans and Malachim once resided in the Heavenly Realm. At the time, they were known as Seraphim. Malachim and Seraphim are the same thing? Yep. Essentially, Malachim are merely Seraphim who descended from the Heavenly Realm. And the Prime Lords who ruled over them eventually came to be called Empyreans. So then, a Moloch is one who serves the Empyreans. Got it. But the real name for them would be Seraphim. It's only natural that this knowledge has been lost to you. Tens of thousands of years have passed since we left the Heavenly Realm. Indeed, nearly all Malachim on the surface world are ignorant of the oath made all those years ago upon their ancestors' descent. Wait! What's this oath you're talking about? I guess we'll just have to keep going to find out. The, uh, the oath of Enma, don't you know? All right, so I guess we got one more boss, I think. I think there's only six bosses. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, cat. We have not seen a single cat's chest. I found you, man. I think that's supposed to be my line. What's my reward? Probably a cat's towel, right? Again, my line. Alrighty, here's the cat.
Giant's towel you've been waiting for. Meow. I should wrap you in this towel and swing you around for a while. Velvet. So we're still missing Eleanor's. I dig it. It actually covers more than her normal outfit. I'm inaccurate. Alright. You need a warp point. Come on, cat, cat spirits. No. Oh, no. Oh, these things actually got some level. I'm about to throw hands. Dang! <laughs> now, what was it? I'm about, I'm about to whoop up on this. Damn, these guys got hands. <laughs> these hands rated E for everyone. You know, the really funny thing, I remember seeing that uh, in regards to, I think it was Andrew Tate years ago. Oh, yeah. Animation where he was like, well, if you watch anime or something like that, you're not a man. And then Funimation posted, these hands are ready to be for everyone. <laughs> I mean. And now he's back in the news again, being a twat. Didn't he get banned from, like, almost every platform and then Tucker Carlson got him on Fox or something? Yep. I mean, you'll know if Tucker Carlson brought you on Fox to talk about your shit, you're not a good person. Congratulations, you have just proven you're a I mean, he was a social media influencer. He's already not that good of a person. Where in the world do you hide all of that paper? Woo! Alright. Hey, you can stay on it. Well, because I hit the button immediately. Okay, we have two entrances now. Oh, we have to. Oh, because we have to go around this way. Ah. 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 What? <laughs> what? I am confused. No. They're dragoons. God, these guys are tough. Yeah, and again, think about if we were on a harder setting right now. Yep. God damn it, yeah. Oh boy. So it takes you all the way to the very back again. Stop it! No. Go away! No. Eh. 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 I'm just checking out what's over here. There's nothing over here. Ah! Pretty sure if you go through, if you try and go through that wall, it'll stop you. Yeah. Which is confusing. Cause, yeah. Well, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna experiment real quick. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh, but it disappears when you do it. Okay, so let's try pushing on the other one. Ah! Oh, oh. God! Oh, no! <laughs> this one is miserable. I mean, it's an end-game dungeon. What did you expect in an RPG? We were doing pretty all right so far, in terms of what. Yes, dropping into one of the easiest settings in the game. But I mean, I meant like in terms of like what we were coming into, because this is also a randomized dungeon. Let me 
And to be fair, these aren't like ones we can't run from. We can technically run from this. <laughs> True, but... <laughs> Running for cowards. My meaning, my men do not know the meaning of the word surrender, but we're willing to learn. <laughs> did you ever see that live-action Dudley Do-Right movie they did? Uh, the one with Brendan Fraser? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, the, the joke they had about the, the na local natives being known as the Canarsie Kumquats. Yeah. The Canarsie Kumquats did not run from a battle, uh, did not walk away from a battle. They preferred to run. <laughs> I thought we were done for. God damn it. Uh, Once more into the breach. I keep hearing Sonic going, you're too slow. Oh, uh, there's... What do you think the, the dire foe for this area would be? Uh, something I don't want to deal with. <laughs> what would that be? Bullshit. <laughs> That's what it would be. Just straight up bullshit. Okay, so let's see if that actually did take something out of the equation there. Oh no! Fuck these fucking bugs! He has megaphones for hands, that wall did. Yep. Yeah, we've seen that one before. Stop it, game. Yep, it lowered the it lowered that, so Game, stop. Stop it. Fine. Ooh, elixir. Useful. By the way, it looks like a uh, expedition has returned. I think it returned a while ago. We just got distracted. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, where the fuck do I go now? Okay, so Demon Wall. Risk it for the biscuit. No! No, damn it! <laughs> uh, I laugh, but it's like, risk it for the biscuit, but I don't like biscuits! <laughs> eh, eh, eh. God, it takes forever. Fuck it. Okay. By the way, these bugs have hands, like human hands. Oh, yeah, no, I see. What, what creature did we see that was kind of like that? Because I recognize that helmet and hands they have. Lightning kick. They're punching us. They're bugs that punch. So terraformers? Yeah. God, that series got. Re <laughs> God, that series got really stupid on an already stupid premise. <laughs> Once the bugs started invading. Once there was a giant war on Earth, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this guy an amalgamation of, like, 30 different species and uses a bow and arrow? <laughs> that one would probably be due to the fact that the, uh, the bow and arrow is something that's actually very popular in, in uh, Japanese history, so... Yeah, well, I know that, yeah, but... What was that? Oh, look at that artwork he has on, the, on his back. Come here, you persona reject. Alright, let's see if I can hit more than one with this, or if it's just one. It's just one. Cam. No, no, you see damage on the sides, too, so it's hitting other things, too. Oh, oh good. Oh, I did damage to at least two things. Now. Is there an orc over to the side that's getting the crap kicked out of it, or is that this thing? No, it was that. That was that thing, and it sounded more like he was having a great time. Ah, oh, god fucking damn it. I'm gonna beat my head against this fucking map. Mm -hmm. Alright, watch out for the bugs! As long as they fight me on this area, I don't mind as much. Fight me on my terms, bug boy. Oh god, this is awful. <laughs> Go away! And it gets worse. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? <laughs> I want waffle fries. 
Yep, you knew the audio. <laughs> Another great audio courtesy of uh, Mr. Thomas Sanders is the one where he's got like the villain where it's like, I am <laughs> an, uh, unequivocal evil. Oh, aren't you just the cutest thing? What the hell? I I'm, I am an evil person. Uh-huh. I plan to cause massive harm to the hero. Yeah, you do. I am. There's nothing about me that you should think this. Oh, you're cute when you're angry. What the fuck? <laughs> ah. Oh, we're here. Okay, um... Uh, should I look to the map to see where they're hiding this guy here? Where's the... Yeah, where's the cat? Ooh. He way up there. We gotta go up the stairs as if we were going into the, uh... Pirate King as Seafood? if we were going into the final dungeon. Okay, but first, Pirate King Seafood Bowl. Let's take a look. Down here. Luffy would be salivating. A bowl full of treasures from the sea fit to please a pirate king. Someone is Luffy KO'd. When recovering KO, 30% of HP is restored. I do like that. Mm. He's Well, no. Luffy's thing is meat on a stick. He likes meat, meat not fish. In general. Oh, really? Yeah, he likes... Meat is his big thing. Wait, wait, wait. So he doesn't consider fish meat. Well, what is meat then to him? Are we talking pork? Are we talking beef? Meat. What are we got? But fish is meat, so if I stick a fish on a stick... Eh, not necessarily, because vegetarians don't consider it meat. Some don't. Yeah. Trust me, there's still that argument oh. between the pescatarians and, oh. and the rest of them. Oh, oh, trust me, I know. One of my friends here is, like, a straight-up full vegetarian. And the other is vegetarian, but will eat fish. Pescatarian. Yeah. yeah. Go away. Go away, Dragoon. Okay, hold on. Go, Dragoon! For any of those Bay Bay Beyblade fans out there. Okay, that's weird, because he should have been in that area that you just went through. Is this another one of those things where he's hiding? Okay, uh, go back to the... Uh... No, no, not that way. So, yeah, straight ahead, that corner to the right, at the very edge of the map. He should be in that Over here? corner niche. Yep. Oh, he's and behind the... Very back. Oh! Yep, hidden back here. Of course he is. All right, let's I mean, go. At least for that one. Delay. Eliminate. Detect. Because fuck this shit. Yeah. I think you just did the detect twice. I don't think it allows you to do detect twice. No, no. Yeah. It, well, the one is detect. The other is reduce how many there are. Yeah, I, I think you hit this. Uh, I think you hit that twice. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. Yeah. We shall see. Can you imagine if the geo board didn't hover and you actually felt each one of those steps as you went down it? Yeah. Oh, All right. Let's kill things. Megaphoners. Stop grunting! It's creepy! Stop it, game. Just die. Thank you. Die, die. You know me not, bastards. Oh, 
God, stop. No scorpions. I didn't- I did not ask for scorpions. The scorpion king. I don't want to fight the rock, he's cool. But can you smell what he's cooking? Only if I can see what John Cena- where John Cena is. Ah, yes. <laughs> I gotta say, John Cena's actually a pretty good actor when it comes to, like, actual movies. I've been seeing is apparently a lot of the uh, a lot of the pro wrestling circuit people. They are really good at it when you actually you know have a decent script and you have a director who's able to work with them properly. Yeah, I mean like John Cena was one of the best parts of the Suicide Squad movie that James Gunn made. James, hey, it works, right? Yeah, Peacemaker. He's a man who yeah, loves. A yeah, he's a man who loves peace, and he doesn't. Uh, and, and he will kill as many men, women, and children as he needs to in order to get it. Mm, peace. I refuse to fall here. Uh. Oh, we got 15 minutes. All right. Yep, because you extended it out. Yep. I made my life much less miserable. I mean, fair. And you can tell that just because of the size of this area that we're working with right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. Are we ready for this? Scarlet Needlers. The Needler? I didn't know we were playing Halo. Little known fact. Corsaria is actually a prequel to Halo. No, the, someone actually did a joke thing for that where it shows uh, the live-action Aladdin uh, cover... Like the uh, promo art, mm -hmm. and then it showed um, Dark uh, Phoenix and Star Wars. Oh god, I saw that. That was really funny. Yeah. Well, and the fact that the way they when they described it the way they did, it's like you know that actually would make sense. You could you could run it like that. I gotta say, man, I gotta even say that that is the weirdest trilogy I've ever seen. <laughs> yep. It's because you're watching it in the wrong order. It needs to go in this order here. <laughs> Start with Aladdin, then you go uh, then you go to Dark Phoenix, then to Star Wars. <laughs> But when you explain it from that side of, oh yeah, if you think of it from uh, Jafar's abilities are the psychic powers that Jean Grey has, and that that later becomes disseminated to more people and becomes the Force, it's like, oh yeah, I see it. I don't know if you could make any more sense out of it, or like actually get it to be a cohesive story in any other way, but I mean, it's funny. It is. I'm slow. Stop okay. taking away my souls! Yeah, I'm in the same boat. We have not killed a single one of them yet. I'm just gonna turn into a There we go. Because I cannot. Oh, fuck you, I just got that soul back. Yeah, part of the problem is they don't actually keep soul. They, they only have one per. I do not even have the capability of dodging with this status debuff on me. That is annoying. Thank you for the heal and for getting rid of my status. Ow! God, I just got it back. Ugh. Yep. So yeah, it's a good thing I it's a good thing I put all that stuff on. Yep. Because that took two minutes. All right, ladder. Yep. Be a ladder over here. Yeah, on the pillar to your left. What a thrill! Darkness and silence through the night. I think I. I wish I, I could remember more of it. What a fear in my heart! But you're so supreme. I give my love not for honor, but for you. <laughs> Snake eater. No, no, because you have to do the, uh, I'm still in a dream. Oh, God, I actually got a good look at the artwork on him. What is it? I, what is it? It's Phoenix. 
Oh god damn it! That's kind of funny. Uh, it, it, it's just a, it, I should say it's a Norman, but I, the first one I saw was red, which made me think Phoenix. It's it it it's I I wouldn't put it past it to be Phoenix. Yeah, that's Phoenix. That is Phoenix. <laughs> Both of us are just like, no. Oh no, that's no. just no, 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 that's not Phoenix, that's Norman Island. That's just the Norman Island. Yeah. That makes sense for the other ones, yeah. It's just the first one I saw was red, and I'm like, oh no. No, 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 no. Kaya, Ken? Oh. Oh, no. oh. I forgot to just use your stupid Kyle, whatever. Kyo Ken! Kyo what? <laughs> no, seriously, Kyo what? Kyo crap. Kyo crap! <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> this is the jockstrap incident all over again. Alright. In the words... Of... In the words of H-Bomber guy. Oh no, my bones! <laughs> oh no, my bones! <laughs> I must protect myself. All my vital areas. Oh no, my neck, my most vital area! <laughs> what was it where it's like, you're going through New Vegas and you get through this lock and you open this chest, but you notice you get this achievement. Wait, what achievement is this? Oh, that's achievement for breaking every bone in your body. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love H-Bomber guy. Damn it! Need to be extremely wary. Well, we got ten minutes. Oh, I love when my computer screen suddenly just goes dark on me and I'm going, both keep mashing buttons. Stop stunning me, dick. Oh, by the way, by the, by the way, um, the Separate Ways expansion in Resident Evil 4 has convinced me not to kill chickens for a little bit. Oh? Because I killed a chicken and a, and a, uh, and a chainsaw guy appeared. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I was... I, I just killed the chicken in the stove, and all of a sudden I just hear a chainsaw. I'm like, oh, fuck me. Ooh. Ooh, red burn. Oh, sorry, red rash. Oh, that's the highest damage we've ever seen any of our crew do. We're so proud of the, of the slaughter. Another Scarlet Needler. The Scarlet Needlers are out again. That attack is still going. <laughs> yep. I still need a lot of training. How many levels are we now? Oh man, most of us are almost level 100. Cool. We will need to be extremely wary. Oh, th did you look at their faces, too? The fact that they've got the uh, goggles, the, the, the funny face? Yeah. I still like the one that's basically a back end instead of a front end. Oh, my God. 
There we go. Can we start from the Final Fantasy 14. I can't see anything. Oh, hey, we got you a new spear. With six minutes remaining. Uh, let's take a look at your new spear. I mean, good attack. Good defense. But yeah. what was the other one that I had? I had one that I had uh, not mastered yet. Ethereal Spear. There was. Oh. There was this one. Ray Lance. Freelance com yes. Freelance really drops your attack. Yeah. Meh. Let's see. Let's go effect paralysis reduced by 40%. <laughs> I like that idea. Especially because a lot of things have been hitting me with paralysis lately. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. See, this one reminds me of the Sin Spawn in 10. Which, yeah. to be fair, we've also fought one very similar to this. The Chimera, I think. Yep. Oh god, like the way it opens up with where the tail is, it has a Sarlacc butt. Yep. It has, wait, is it fish underside? It's kind like, of fish, kind of. That looks more like the frill of a lizard. Oh, I think it's no. Oh, wait, it's a combination of all the all the fights before. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's also, just not as heavily armored as the one, but it's got the hoof. Also, yeah, it's a Chimera. Also, I was about to say they have hoof. They have hoof heels. He's like, hey He's guy, Canada. hey guys, can you stop criticizing me and just fight me? He just stood there, menacingly. Oh, he flashed out of existence. Good boy. He has mastered, <laughs> uh, mastered the technique. We will need to be Ajdahak. We've fought something with that name before. Already knocked onto the ground, dang. How much health does he have? 209,000? We can cut through that like butter. I would not want to fight this thing on a higher difficulty, but... Very nice. Oh, silver. Ow! Firewall! Oh, Ow! Flame! That actually did some health! Oh yeah, it did. I tip my hat to you, monster. You're the first thing that's actually threatened us in a while. Ow! 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 Yep. I t and for that, I tip my... Huh. What is this thing on my head? Would you call it a crown? Sixteen? Would you say it's a crown? I'm gonna call it a crown. I, I hate you. I'm gonna call the crown. You killed my friend. I hate you. I call it crown. There's inappropriate comment about Gohan Krillin. Whoa, the dude. He's like eleven. I'm six. What really? That was the amount of materials received when dismantling equipment that is enhanced beyond level one. This stuff is for farming. Please, miss. Can you tell us what happened in the heavenly realm? As you wish. As a young Malakim, you have every right to know the nature of the events in which we have entangled you. To the Seraphim, malevolence is as poison. The Earth Dwellers create malevolence and therefore pose a very real threat. Thus, the Seraphim decided to eradicate the surface world, humanity included. <sighs> but that's insane! There did dwell among the Seraphim those who desired coexistence with mankind. Those more merciful Seraphim made a bet with the ones who sought annihilation. They descended to the earthly realm. They would prove that they could overcome the malevolence and live among the humans. And those Seraphim became the Empyreans and the Maliki. Just so. 
And when their dream is realized, the heavenly gate will open, and humanity and Seraphim, the heavens and the earth, will be as one. And so, the pact was formed between our realms. But even after tens of thousands of years, that dream has not come to be. There was never any chance. In exchange for making the pact, the remaining Seraphim imposed a rule upon human and Malak. More a curse than a rule, truth told, it made coexistence impossible. From the beginning, the Seraphim decided to cast us and the humans aside and to destroy us together. It was all meaningless, futile. A rule and a curse imposed upon human and Moloch. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I see where this is going. Yeah, I think I get it. I don't like this. Ah, we're so close. I got a bad feeling about this. And this should be Eleanor's. Oh, look. It's another cat's. Well done! You've come a long way to <laughs> well... find me here. Now, now, as for your reward... If it's another cat's towel, we have plenty already. No, meow. I think this should still be worth your while. Because I'm throwing in a gel. A gel! Why are you cats so insistent about us having this stuff? Because they're cat's towels! Everyone deserves a cat's towel! Meow! There's something every cat loves! Something the whole world loves! Uh... Alright, if you insist, I'll take it. <sighs> now I'm stuck with one too. These two... Yeah. These, these two quest lines are a little bit disparate, aren't they? Uh... I mean... The one is more of a catalyst to get you here. It's it's less that these are two separate quest lines and more your reasoning for having us here is kind of skewed. One day the whole world will recognize how great they are, I'm sure of it. Alright, since we have everyone's cats to L's, are we just um shall we be onsen buddies? Onsen! The onsen crew! There we go. Yep. Do the... Oh, my god, what are you wearing? It's my ass-kicking outfit, bitch. <laughs> Alright, we are running very low on cat... Uh, on souls. And we still haven't found that chest. Don't fucking remind me. We won't have enough to open it. We'll... we'll get it eventually. This is... Don't remind me, we don't have enough to open it. Don't fucking remind me! <laughs> Okay. Okay. And it looks like we also have our expedition back again. Yep. God, those come back fast. God, time flies so fast. How have we been doing this for two hours already? Yeah, I know, right? I was starting to notice this, like, oh man, I'm kind of uncomfortable sitting here. I need to shift a little bit. And then I looked over and went, oh shit. <laughs> time really has flown by. I don't think any other game we've played has ever gone by this fast in our sessions. Uh, yeah. uh, the Resident Evil games, I'm kinda. Sure there's been a few. Oh, hey, we found the god. We found the other god we have to kill besides Anomi Not. Is that the Heavenly Gate? There's some cutesy-looking creature over there. I'm impressed. You have actually made what? it all the way to the Heavenly Gate. That voice. You're the one who's been speaking to us? Yes, that is me. I am Zuifu, a Malak and former Seraph. Wait a minute. You're a Rapig. Did the curse you mentioned turn you into one? No, that's just how she naturally is. She's like Morgrim that way. That curse is what turns humans and Malakim into demons and dragons, right? That is correct. The Malakim who descended to the surface banded together with like-minded humans. They truly believed they could change the world. But because of the curse, their cooperation came to a swift end, 
even minor disputes gave rise to malevolence, and demons and dragons quickly filled the land. The demons shredded the Malakim who loved humanity, and the dragons devoured the humans who trusted the Malakim. Nearly all Malakim abandoned their dream of peaceful coexistence and distanced themselves from humanity. They would forever regret having descended from the heavenly realm. Then every dragon we fought on the way up was here simply because they were trying to get back home. That must be what the cats meant when they said this place has the power to draw in Malakim. Hey, you? Eleanor, my eyes are up here. Malakim who gave up? It was futile. Humans with resonance already rare dwindled to almost total extinction. Eventually, they forgot the very existence of us Malakim. Malevolence spewed forth endlessly, and again and again did demons and dragons cover the land. If Enominat hadn't subdued the world and reset the balance, mankind and Malakim would likely be extinct. Is that to say Enominat is a safety valve of sorts? That is precisely his function. Enominat stands as an auxiliary Empyrean, tasked as the final bastion preventing this world's demise. Malevolence spreads, Enominat suppresses, Malevolence spreads again. We're stuck in a vicious cycle. Oh my! Seems like we're screwed. Our only hope lay with the Empyrean's Pact Keepers, but... A Pact Keeper? A Pact Keeper is one who possesses an honest heart and strong enough resonance to form a pact with an Empyrean. Unfortunately, the current Pact Keeper, Artorius, is using Innominat's power in an attempt to control the nature of humans and Malakim. Although, when the alternative is an eternal cycle of tragedy, Perhaps it is better not to feel tragedy at all. That isn't funny. It's not a joke. I believed in humanity for tens of thousands of years, but there's no point. And what of you? Do you still cling to the hope that malevolence can be extinguished? That we can coexist? I'm not sure I care. What? I'm tired of you going on and on about how everything is futile, so I've got one thing to say. Wallow in your own misery for all I care, but this so-called earthly world is where we all live. Yeah, maybe it's futile, and maybe it's irrational, but as long as we're born here, here is where we live. Right here, we're living our lives. Humans, demons, Malakim, Witch, Reaper, Exorcist, each- Yeah, Magali, you got some good balance. <laughs> but the time for Enominat's suppression is close at- I will stop it, no matter what. You, you've learned the workings of this world, and yet... I don't give a damn about Seraphim in some heavenly realm, or the nasty way the world works. When it comes down to it, I'm still me. What I hope for is mine to decide, and no one else's. <sighs> well, if everyone said their piece, let's get going. I truly feel your pain. I honestly hope you can find a way to be at ease. You keep on angsting about this heavens thing. Just leave the rest of us out of it. And if you get in our way, we will not go easy on you. Humans are peculiar. They are. They're strange, scary, and they do what they want. But really, if you ask me for my opinion, I honestly don't think that their world is all that bad of a place. Do you think you'll still be saying the same thing when you've become a dragon in the ages to come? I really don't know. But for now, I'll live my life to the fullest. If there exist Malakim and humans like that, Perhaps some hope remains after all. <laughs> this Pandora's Zemus, box is not fully perhaps shut. Perhaps <laughs> there will come a time, as you had hoped, for humans and Malakim and Venerous. Seraphim.
Yeah, not sure what that name. I hate to say it, but I kind of feel like our attire kind of pulled some of the... Uh, gravitas? The, uh, gravitas from that. That was the point, unfortunately. Yeah, you said Zenrus. Let's see... Oh, I just... Oh, I just noticed... I just noticed, look at their, they have the little, they have the little slippers too. Yep. That's cute. Alright, so there's a cat over here. You found me! Thank you so much! Now, to show you my catitude, I'd like to invite you to a nice, soothing bathhouse I found. Now, a bathhouse? Yep! The Super Spa. One dip in their baths and you'll feel as good as new, inside and out. Speaking from experience, I can promise you it's so amazingly perfect, your soul will leave your body. Super spa, is it? Wait, is that why we've been lugging around all these cat's towels? You got it, meow! It's not a mixed bath or anything, right? No need to worry, meow. Men and women both have their own dedicated baths. If you insist. I could definitely stand to unwind after so much fighting. Mm -hmm. I'm positively tingling with anticipation. You know, it might be nice to have some serious bonding time before the final battle. Actually, I've never been to a bathhouse before. Yes, you have. Oh, you're in for a treat. That steam will have your skin silky smooth. And there's nothing like a good drink after a hot bath. This gate of travel will take you there straight away. Feel free to use it any time. This is the entrance to the bathhouse. All right, bathhouse bathhouse episode. Let's go. And boss fight. No. This might be a little too steamy for Steam for Twitch. Nah, they're gonna keep everything just hidden. You know. What? what, what okay with that just teleported. I'll second that. This feels really nice. Oh, she, still, she still has her wings. That's so funny. It's mm -hmm. like I can feel my soul. Still got the glass. She still got the horns. Yeah. With the steam. With the crap. Ah, uh, it feels like all my wounds are melting away. Was that? that I'll say. Was that Rokuro? The water is just the right temperature. Yeah, that so was Rokuro. Important places. What? What the hell? Don't splash the water around, Velvet. That's totally bad manners. Oh! I can't help it. My legs don't reach the bottom. Oh, wait. Am I in Fee's body? Oh, and I'm inside Rokuro. Oh, look at these muscles. <laughs> I'm actually as tall as I always wished I was. What the <laughs> devil's going on in here? This is what makes this place so special, Meow. You feel so perfectly divine that your soul floats away and switches bodies with someone else, Meow. Sheesh. Looks like even Bianfu and the cats have swapped bodies. Wait, does that mean that the men are now in our bodies? Well... This place certainly wasted no time in getting weird or awkward. Uh, I'm not really comfortable with this. What do we do? I feel like I've got an inner tube strapped to my chest. Aizen, is this another side effect of your curse? As if the Reaper's curse would do something so ridiculous. It's probably just that cat's playing a prank on us. I'm amazed that you can stay so calm despite all of this, Aizen. Ha! This doesn't bother me in the least. My sister and I used to take baths together when we were kids. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we might as well enjoy ourselves. The water here does feel quite nice. Rokuro, you lech! Cover your eyes this instant! Fine, fine. No need to shout, Eleanor. Though I have to say, your body is nicely agile. Though, your butt is a bit bulky. Hey! Keep my hands to yourself! Uh, Eleanor, don't stand up! Hey, cats. We better not be stuck like this forever. No need! 
paper can burn, Yao. You'll all go back to normal once you leave the spring. Right then, everybody out. This is just too weird to be relaxing. Actually, before we go, I've noticed the cat's been staring at us for pretty much the entire time. Yeah, that's the end, too. <laughs> Smack him for me. Got it. That's too bad. It was such a lovely hot spring. I wish we could have stayed a little longer. No, you really don't. Let's all agree to forget this ever happened. How do you expect us to do that? Don't go asking for things we can't actually do. I said forget it! If you insist, I'll, I'll try. Uh, fine. Yeesh, so much for a nice team-building exercise. I feel like this has just driven a wedge further between us. I heard you kept your eyes covered the whole time. Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's so you. What's the problem? I was just trying to be polite. It's fine. There's no problem. But I didn't cover mine. <gasps> Velvet, he is a three-year-old <gasps> child. Why would you even tell me that? You know what? I'm, I gotta give props to the voice actors. They did a really good job. It's like, wait, why is her voice like... Oh. oh. <laughs> damn it. Uh, it's still, like, god damn, that was a really... They did a really good job of, like, mimicking them exactly. Yep. You're actually nice and agile, but your butt's a little bulky, though. You take your hands off of that! You take... <laughs> Lee, keep my hands to myself... To yourself. <laughs> also, why are you complaining, Rokuro? Yes. Do you not know the do you not know the words of the great sage Sir Mixalot? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, oof. we'll never speak of this place again. Yep. Uh well that's probably a good place to end this for today cuz I got to get some stuff ready before I go and get twitchy. Yeah. Uh. It's that was a good spot, and then maybe we'll have enough yep. to. Do we want to actually go for Dark Turtles, or do you think this is a good spot to just end the end the series? We're, we'll see how we're feeling, cause yeah, we've still got the Dark Turtles. Did we we where did the fight versus um, the other two? Uh, I was looking at the enemy list on this one because it popped up when I was looking at uh, at the area. Mm -hmm. There are. A grand total of 278 opponents, it looks like. Gotcha. Oh, I and think... one of them is titled Deific Artorius. Oh. An improved version of the final boss of the game after completing the Heavenly Steps. Boy, so we have to... F oh, so we have to fight the final boss again? Possibly. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, I saved. We'll save that for another time. Yep. Well, yeah, I did save, so everything's good. Yep. Thank you all for watching, and we will figure out what we want to do next time, which will maybe be tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how both of us are feeling. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And on my end, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.